Welcome and praise God for the blessing series. You are blessed of the Lord. The blessing of the Lord is at work in every area of your life. And we have covered 29 areas that you are blessed. 29 areas of your life where the blessing of the Lord has been proclaimed and is at work as you begin to get revelation, as you begin to understand, as you begin to apply it in your life. You are blessed blessed of the Lord. Every part of your life and existence here on earth is blessed. Aren't you glad for that? I'm excited about these scriptures and I've enjoyed these last 30 days looking through and sharing these blessings with you. These are things that I keep reminding myself on a consistent basis as I go through life. I keep reminding myself I'm blessed of the Lord. I remember the day I discovered that, that I'm blessed. I was reading a little booklet by Kenneth Hagen and it's called I Am Realities and he's bringing out all these wonderful scriptures about I am blessed in him, in whom, through whom, by whom, my position in Christ. And I was so excited beginning to discover because all along in church we were taught yeah, God is angry at you, God is trying to fix you, God is not happy with you, God is upset with you and you have this concept of this angry God but one day you begin to discover I'm accepted in the beloved, I'm, I'm loved, the glory of God, the fullness of the Godhead dwells in me bodily and so on and it's like wow, then I got to Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3 blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who hath, who hath who hath, who hath, is not trying to he's not thinking about it but he has blessed me with what all spiritual blessing in heavenly places in Christ Jesus that was such a revelation it totally changed my life to realize that I am blessed already I'm not trying to get blessed all I needed was to have a revelation of the fact that I am blessed so you better get that declared. Type it out right now. I am blessed. Make that declaration every single day when you wake up. Let those be the first words that you have. I am blessed. This day is blessed. I'm blessed in the marketplace. I'm blessed in the streets. I'm blessed in the office. I'm blessed everywhere I go. But today we're talking about the blessing of feeding and nourishment. God will feed you. God will nourish you. God will sustain you. God will meet your needs. Remember the little conversation that Jesus had in the book of Mark with the disciples. And he says, hey, consider the lilies. Aren't they arrayed better than Solomon? Your father is clothing them. Look at the birds. God is feeding them. He nourishes the, the birds. And then he says, what about you? Oh, you of little faith. Will your father not clothe you, feed you, keep you, nourish you, meet your needs? Well, guess what? All your needs are met. If you're in covenant, walking in the covenant of God, God has already made provision for your needs. So you are blessed with the blessing of feeding, spiritual feeding and nourishment. You're fed by the word. You're fed by worship. You're fed through prayer. You're fed. Spiritual nourishment flows into your life and the result is you will be, your needs will be met in every other area of your life. Let's quickly look at a scripture here in the book of Genesis chapter 28 verse 20 to verse 22. It reads, and Jacob vowed a vow saying, if God will keep me and will if God will be with me and keep me in this way that I go and I will and will give me bread to eat. That's physical nourishment. Notice it says you'll be with me and keep me in the way that I go. The spiritual side is taken care of. And then he says, and he'll give me bread to eat, raiment to put on so that I come again to my father's house in peace. Then shall the Lord be my God. And this stone that I've set up as a pillar shall be God's house. And of all that you shall give to me, I shall surely give a tenth unto you. He was talking about supernatural abundant provision for his every need to a point where the overflow, he says, I am able to come before God and say, God, you have kept me, fed me, clothed me, nourished me, and now I'm able to give you a tenth of everything. Now, this should be the heart and the desire of every believer to say, God, I am a covenant giver because you have met my needs. You have nourished me, clothed me, protected me, preserved me, fed me spiritually and physically. I am able to come back to you and restore my tithe, my worship, my honor, my reverence of who you are. Well, God did follow through on his promise and the covenant that Jacob made many years later, 21 years later, I believe it is, he came back and he was able 
to honor God by building a sacrifice and giving of his tithes and honoring God according to the word. And he says, I am building this to the God who, who remembered me, who I met on the way to Padanaram at the time when I was running away from my brother and I was broke and had no provision. My goodness, God is so good. He is able and willing and waiting to meet your needs, to nourish you, spirit, soul, and body. So declare right now, I am nourished of the Lord. I am fed of the Lord in my spirit and in my body. God is making provision for every need in my life. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Aren't you so blessed to be hearing this? Well, thank you so much and God bless you.